This is Twit. We're going to take right off. I'm going to introduce my good friend, Dr. Scott Wright, K0MD. Scott, thank you so much for being here. I know you have quite a story, so I'm just going to move off to the side and you tell us what's going on, please. Well, thank you, Bob. Good evening and good evening to everyone. The COVID pandemic that we are in in the United States has been one of the greatest public health threats in the last 100 years. We are seeing more deaths to now due to this uh, illness than we have seen with any other major illness in a given short time period. The treatments for this are lacking. There are no approved therapies to treat this disorder. But last week, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, along with other U.S. government agencies, contacted a colleague of mine at Mayo Clinic, Dr. Michael Joyner, about resurrecting or trying an old therapy that worked in the Spanish flu pandemic 100 years ago and in other pandemics since that time. It's called convalescent plasma. What is that? Well, for those of you who have relatives or friends who have recovered from the COVID infection and are now doing well, they can actually donate blood through the American Red Cross, Vitalant, ABC, or One Blood, or any other blood bank source, because their blood for a few months after the infection contains proteins called antibodies. Those antibodies provide protection. They kill the virus. They help the immune system. It's especially important for those who are, say, under 60 who have recovered because they have lots of antibodies. And we can take a unit of blood from one person who has recovered and treat two or three or four patients who are currently in the hospital with uh, the COVID infection. The FDA has started a national study that a team at Mayo Clinic led by Dr. Joyner is leading. It's called the U.S. Plasma Convalescent Study. There are over 400 acute care facilities, hospitals, and other facilities who have signed up in the last three days to be a part of this. What's happening is that once recovered individuals have donated plasma, the Red Cross or others will distribute it nationally. And once you've signed up, uh, to be in the study, and doctors can do this. And if you're, a, if you have a loved one in the hospital, or if you know someone in the hospital, they can ask the physicians treating them to sign up and get them involved. We we believe this will work. It's being tested like a clinical trial. Uh, it has worked in the past. It, data from China have suggested that it will work. Anecdotal data from the United States. We're hearing sh people are sharing very promising case reports, and this is really serious. I have a colleague who's been calling the facilities, the physicians who have signed up in the last two days, and he's hearing tearful stories. They have patients who are on ventilators who they can't get off the ventilator, and they're looking for therapy. So how can you help? How can we pull together as a nation, and what can we do to really help each other? And that is those of us who have had the disease and recovered should donate plasma at the Red Cross or your local blood bank so that what your, your antibodies can help save the lives of other people. The website is listed here. It has frequently asked questions. It has an email link. If you have questions, you can email questions to the team at Mayo Clinic to ask. But please spread the word. Spread the word with your children and grandchildren and your neighbors that this is something we all can do. And uh, there's no cost for getting the plasma. It's free. Uh, the study is being funded by the U.S. government in terms of just the small f cost of, of the people who are running it. And, uh, Bob, this is so important that I appreciate you giving us an opportunity to share tonight about this because it is a potential glimmer of hope in what has otherwise been a very depressing situation. Well, I, we talked today. You, you had written me about a microphone for for your Collins radio, and I got to thinking. Wait a minute, and we got to talking about this important subject, and really never even solved the problem of your radio. But we can do that later. This is so important, and I appreciate you coming on so quickly. That's really wonderful of you, and we might have you come back several times and give us an update. But any anything we can do, you have suggestions. What uh, you, you've get you've given it out, but you want to double down on any one important thing that we all need to do? Everyone should try to stay well, follow the advice of all the states and the president to stay, stay socially isolated and keep washing your hands. We know the, the virus spreads a lot like other infections like strep throat and the flu and the cold. If you keep your hands clean and wash those and don't touch your face, you reduce your risk substantially of getting it. 
But please, if you have family members or friends or anyone in your community or your religious circle who have recovered from this, encourage them to donate. It's something we can all do now. We can donate our blood, a unit of blood, and it will probably save lives. The, well, the message I've been giving my the team working with me and Dr. Joyner has been the lives we save may be those of our family or, or ourselves. So this is one time that uh, we need to really all hands on deck and a nationwide effort. Uh, there are hundreds of hospitals waiting for blood now. The Red Cross is ready to receive donations. Uh, the other big organizations are across the U.S. Uh, so contact them. And if you look at the website, www.uscovidplasma.org, there are links there about how to find a blood center where you can donate. If you have any doubts, just drop an email to the address there, and someone will reply back within a few hours, giving you the link of where to donate blood. Bob, I'd be happy to come back on in a few weeks, whenever you want, but thank you for letting us talk about this very important uh, potential therapy that we can give right now to people who are in the hospital, critically ill with the COVID infection.